Ciao, and welcome again to Casa Fiori's Cucina, otherwise known as Cafe Fifi. It's Easter Sunday, and that means that spring is in full swing. And we've got something happening right now in the garden. This is something you could do any time of year, but as you can see, I love to cook seasonally when possible. Just wait till we get to the summer and the fall. So today, what we're gonna make for you are buttery, aromatic, rosemary shortbread cookies. Rosemary has this beautiful perfume, as you know, and a buttery quality that works perfectly with shortbread cookies. And because of the time of year, it's in bloom. We've got beautiful florets from the rosemary plant that we're gonna add that will add to the quintessential experience of this dessert. So, join me and let's get started. So first off, we're going to gather some rosemary. We're going to pick a tablespoonful of these leaves that you're used to using, but also we're going to pick another tablespoon or teaspoonful even of these really delicate, pretty flowers here. And we're just going to put them whole into our cookies. See you back in the kitchen. All right, let's get to baking. And for this part, I brought in the genius baker of the family, my daughter, Fiore Celestina. Fiore, take it away. Okay, so first you have a pound of butter that is slightly softened, and a pound of butter is also just two sticks of butter. We cut it up into smaller pieces, um, so then it's easier to mix in. And I'm gonna interrupt just for a second. It's actually a half a pound, two sticks, but don't worry about it. We're gonna post the recipe in the next few hours. And then we got um, a uh, <laughs> half a cup of sugar. Um, and then we got a tablespoon of rosemary that is finely chopped. So you measure out the rosemary and then you chop it finely. Fantastic. And then we've got about two teaspoons of our little flowers of rosemary. Now when I process these, it's gonna be hard to see, but there's a little green part on the back that I detach so that we get just the flour. Very hard to see, but we're gonna add those in as well. And, and then we're going to do... We're gonna mix it. We're gonna mix it on low speed until it's smooth, but not fluffy. And we'll be right back. We're gonna add our next step. So now we're going to add our flour. We have two cups of flour and then carefully pour it in and then we're going to mix it in the mixer until the dough forms. What we've done is we've rolled it out on a floured surface to about a quarter of an inch in thickness. In the meantime, of course, we've been licking the spoon and the spatula because that's what you do with great cookie batter, right? Yes. Yes, that's right. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this into rectangles or squares or any shape you really like. What I like to do, it might be hard to see, is I like to kind of make an edge, a line, and so that we can have some nice kind of perfect rectangles or squares, if you will. And then the border pieces will still work as cookies. We'll bake those too, but then we can have some nice shortbread in geometric, perfectly shapes. And so you can kind of see how we're doing this. We're going to continue, and then we're going to show you how they look on the cookie tray. And uh, you're, I want to remind you that this recipe comes to you from Jerry Trownfield of the Herb Farm fame. He's really one of the geniuses of the area in cooking. And of course, we put our own twist on this. We can't help ourselves. Our name is Fiore. And of course, whenever we get a chance, we like to incorporate flowers in our cookie. So that's what we did to make this our... We've laid them out on parchment paper on our baking tray. They're gonna go in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or more. Uh, and I want you to notice, can you see the flowers coming through in the dough? It's a very cool look. With the leftovers, of course, you can do something like <laughs> this too. Dinosaurs. <laughs> We've got our oven preheated to 325. We're gonna slide these cookies in. We're gonna bake them for 25 minutes until they're sandy in color. We don't wanna brown them. And then we're gonna take them out. And roll them. 
Dig it. Oh, okay. Wait, what is that? Wait, what? <laughs> what is happening there? <gasps> what? I have never seen that. That defies the laws of gravity. Well, girls. <laughs> oh my god. That is so good. Oh, that is so good. Oh, oh, I'm so good. glad you enjoyed oh. these. These are oh, very god. simple cookies. Very yeah, simple so cookies. Oh, Few god. ingredients. Oh. Few ingredients. <laughs> if you have rosemary in the garden, use them. If you have the flowers, use them still. But if you don't, get a little rosemary at the store and try them out. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in.